Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new here, I'm Stav and this is She Equips Herself. And today I'm gonna be doing a comparison between the SIG 365, which I know is a really popular carry gun, and the Shield Plus by Smith & Wesson, which is what I carry. And a ton of you guys have asked me to do a review of the 365, and a lot of you ask me why I don't carry that gun. So today we're just gonna do a bit of shooting at the range. I've actually shot the 365 before several times, and I still prefer the Shield for myself, but like I always say, a gun is a personal choice, and if you like the 365 more than the Shield, that's great. Great. I just want you to find something that works best for you. So I'm going to do some shooting here at the range. We're at Mass Firearm School in Holliston and I'll let you guys know what I think about the 365. Mac and I are going to be doing a part two to our previous Q&A. So make sure you leave your questions down below and we'll answer them in our next video. Anything you wanna add? Yep. Make them good. Mac just pointed out that they have a whole stack of our She Equips targets here. If you want one of these, I'm gonna link them below so that you can download the file and then you can print off as many as you'd like. We also made a video that shows how to shoot it. So now I'm gonna shoot 10 rounds out of the shield at that target behind me nice and slow, and then I'll switch to the 365 and do the same thing. our thoughts on each of these guns I wanted to let you know if you're not aware if you don't follow me on Instagram that I'm creating an online course called the Armed and Confident Academy I'm hoping to get it out to you guys by early September and it's gonna be an at-home course that you can do on your own time I'm not gonna be there with you telling you like you need to do it today so you can take it whenever you want you can take as long as you want to finish it but it's gonna be a course that gets you from maybe being brand new or a little knowledgeable about guns to being confident enough to actually make one a part of your daily life. So if you want more information on that, I'm gonna put my email down below. You can send me an email and I'll give you some more information on that course. All right, Mr. McQuarrie, what did you think? The Shield Plus, in my mind, not only is larger, feels significantly larger in my hand. And that's This is how I shot those guns. I shot it with the large magazine in the Shield Plus. There is a significant difference in how that grip feels in my hand when I shoot. So my hand size, from 6'5", extra large glove, 
the Smith & Wesson Shield shoots significantly more comfortable. I've been teaching for a long time, and I've been teaching civilians for a long time, and I've seen the 365 come right from it came out of the gate, and you know the XL, these, and I will say that if you purchase a, C a SIG 365, you made a good purchase. They're excellent guns, they're extremely reliable, and most of my sh shooters shoot them very, very well. I have zero complaints about the manufacturing of this gun. It just does not feel as well in my hand, and that's a very personal decision, than it does the shield. The shield, in my opinion, I prefer the trigger, I prefer the grip, I prefer that it, when right now, when I hold that, it actually feels, I don't want to say like a real gun, but like a gun that I will go into a battle with and come out 100% victorious. Like I feel very confident with that magazine, so I get my pinky on it, that I can win any gunfight you throw at me. This feels, not like that. It feels like, and you can see how little, how much, how you small it is in my hand. I don't feel like I can shoot this as fast, and I don't feel like it has as much control. It, it has, for me, significantly more muzzle flip on the recoil. I would say maybe not twice as much, but I, no question about it, with ball ammunition and with full metal jackets, this gun rises off target more. Uh, with full metal jacket and hollow point, sorry, I'm not sure what I just said, but this gun rises more in my hand. So the thicker grip to me makes a big difference on this gun. So even though it's bigger, and that's something you got to consider. I mean, the six, the 365 is smaller. So if concealment is super important to you, and, and by the way, we have the magazine extension, they have flush fit magazines, so this can be even smaller. But even if I put the flush fit magazine in the Smith, and now my pinky is, is a never never land. <laughs> So we got an extension versus a flush fit. You can still see that, you see the way that SIG is in the back? How much significantly higher it is? You can see it. Think that, that that in my hand, if you could see how it fits there, compared to how the back of the Smith fits. The Smith fits like a, like a half inch lower, and I think that makes a big difference on recoil. For me, they shot about the same. I wouldn't say one is any more accurate than the other. Slow fire, they'll do exactly the same job, no problem. When it comes to shooting faster, I prefer the Smith. Good job. I too prefer the Shield. And that's not just because I've always been a Shield fan. I like the 365. I like how small it is for concealment reasons. If that was like my biggest concern, then I might choose the 365. But there are some things that I prefer on the Shield. And one thing that I didn't really think of before is the magazine release. So the magazine release, on the 365 it sits a little lower and when i hit it because of the way where the magazine sits in here if i pop it out it's got this little piece here and on the shield it's much wider so when i take the magazine out on the shield you see that piece there it's bigger than on the 365 and when i pop the magazine out there's a lot more space between my hand and the magazine. So it pops out like that, and I still have this space right here. And when I do that with the 365, it can kind of get hung up on this part of my hand because it's so close to my hand. So I don't like the way the magazines come out on the 365. As a, as a larger hands, the, the mag, the, and this doesn't matter to a lot of people, but the reload on the Smith is significantly easier and faster than the SIG for the same reason. When I hit the mag release, it doesn't go anywhere. Like, I have to pull out because there's so much, there's so much hand underneath there that even if I get this pinky out of the way and I, I teacup it, I'm pushing the mag release. It's, it's not coming out. I have to pull it out because there's just too much hand underneath. And even with these little mags, I teacup it, it falls out. You know, and, and if I if I don't teacup it, it doesn't go anywhere. I have to extract. It definitely has, does a better mag change in my hand. And that may or may not matter to anybody out there. Yeah, and also where the magazine release is on the shield, it's in a better spot for my thumb. Again, this all depends on like the shape and size of your own hand. So my thumb kind of gets on there perfectly, and nothing gets in the way. When I do the same with the 365, the other side of my hand gets in the way and it's not as easy for me to just pop it out like it is on the shield. So that's just something you want to try out. If you go and try out these guns, try the magazine releases and see if your hand gets in the way of either one because you want to know how easy it is to take the magazine out. I also noticed when we shot hollow points out of these that there was a lot more muzzle flip with the 365. Like I could feel it, I could see it, 
and it was not nearly as bad with the shield. So you can see in this clip I'm loading the magazines for each and the shield magazine is much easier to load. They're both 10 round magazines, but I actually end up struggling with the SIG magazine a little bit and eventually the more I shoot it, I use my Uplula mag loader. So that's something you might wanna be aware of if that could be an issue for you. It's not really a make or break thing for me. I could always just use the mag loader, but it's just something to be aware of. The SIG is much smaller, so with concealment, that makes a big difference but the shield in my opinion is easier and better to shoot for me it's much more comparable to a glock 42 in size i mean i could bust out which a, is a 380 which is a 380 which is which i still like and you you got your glock 42 you got your sig 365 and you got your shield plus this the 42 and the 365 are almost the same size matt the only difference is the width the the six 365 is not much wider but it is wider then the shield is like a slightly larger gun. It's, it's definitely a subcompact, but in the subcompact world, it's bigger. The SIG being larger, it, it should shoot better because the larger the gun, generally until it gets, you know, it's kind of silly big, the better it handles when actually firing the gun. They're about the same width, but that extra grip gives you a lot more control of the gun, but takes away from your concealment. So everyone's got to make their own decisions. All right, guys. That's all we've got. Um, as always, make sure to try out different things on your own. Don't just go with what works for us because everyone's different. So we hope you enjoyed this video and we hope it was helpful and we'll see you in the next one. Stay safe, bye.